Good morning, you guys. This morning I am making some pancakes for you. Um, my normal go-to pancakes um, on the weekends when I make for the kids are banana pancakes. But I'm gonna try something different this morning. My sister, she has a baking company and she made these um, pumpkin cheesecake squares. They are so good. But over the weekend, um, we had a birthday in the house. So we've had these, we've had two different cakes, um, and I I don't wanna waste anything. So I'm going to try to put these in my pancake mix this morning. I think it'll be fun. And I've been really into pumpkin spice stuff right now. I don't want to put too much because I don't want to overpower it. Um, let me put one more piece in here. I think that's good. Okay, so it's pretty much like one whole one I put in here because we had two that were half slices, but pretty much a whole square in here. Um, I don't know all the ingredients that she put inside of here, but they are tasty. And again, they're pumpkin cheesecake squares. Yum. So I'm gonna go ahead and get my batter ready. Okay, you guys, so I have my batter ready. You guys can see it. I have my batter ready for the pancakes. I'm gonna go ahead and mash up the pumpkin cheesecake. before I put it in. I hope the family will like these this morning. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and put it in our batter. Move that out the way for now. This is when I need a blender or a mixer. Do this old school with my hands. Really get it mixed in there. Okay, you guys, so I think I have this fully mixed. There are a few chunks in here, but I know it's not from the batter since I mixed the batter first. I know it's from the cheesecake, so I'm not gonna worry about getting all of those out. Uh, mainly because my arm is tired. <laughs> my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna start making these. Okay, so I have my pan heating. I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter into the pan. Let's go ahead and pour our first pancake. I hope these come out good. They're pretty, this is pretty thick. Normally, um, yo, I don't know if you guys hear my toddler in the background. He's so excited about this alphabet video he's watching. <laughs> um, normally my pancakes come out pretty thin. I like to make them that way. But I think these are gonna be thick today.
that you guys so these are starting to bubble around on the sides and they are getting a little golden so i'm gonna go ahead and flip them over <laughs> i got nervous to flip that one over <laughs> Yeah, so these are definitely going to come out thicker than I usually make. Um, next time I, next weekend I'll make my banana pancakes and show you guys how I do it. Or I could thin this out a little bit by adding a little more water. I think my family likes the thin pancakes better. You like the thin pancakes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. See if I could thin these out a little bit. But I do want to taste one of these to see if... I really have that um, pumpkin cheesecake flavor in it. If not, I will add some more to the batter at the same time adding a little bit more water to the batter. So my lovely man, he is part, um, he's Nigerian and he's Swedish. And he says um, all the time, like the Swedish pancakes are very thin, so that's why I try to make them really thin. It reminds him of it. I haven't tried to make actual Swedish pancakes yet, but he does like how I make them thin. What's wrong? Did your show go off? Just say, Mom, my show went off. Can you please put it back on? No need to cry. All right, you guys, so I did taste that pancake, and it didn't have enough of the pumpkin flavor in it that I'm looking for. So I did take another piece, um, if you guys can see it. I did take another piece of uh, my sister's cheesecake. And then I also went and added some pumpkin spice. You guys can see that. There we go, some pumpkin spice. And I also added some nutmeg into it. And I'm really hoping that this brings out the pumpkin flavor. I'm just gonna add a tad bit more of the pumpkin spice because if I'm going to make pumpkin pancakes, I want to taste pumpkin pancakes. And then I did add a little more water into it as well, just to thin them out. Because again, my family loves the, um, like some thin pancakes. So, go ahead and let that sizzle. Adding more butter to my pan. Let's see. Let's try this now. Yes. That is how I like it. Now again, you still see a little bit of chunks in here because of the um, pumpkin cheesecake that I added into it. Yes, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Uh-oh, those two are gonna come together, that's okay. Right, I'm gonna go ahead and flip these. I put this one in first, so let's flip this one first. Oops. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's turn these over. This one's really thin. Perfect. Yes, my pancakes are never perfectly shaped round. That's just what you get when you're cooking at home. Not a restaurant style. I'm not a chef. <laughs> Try to make more of a round one. Mm. Oh, you guys, someone's mad in the background. His cartoons went off this morning, and football is now in session. All right, let's go ahead and flip this one over. Oh yeah, look how beautiful that is. You guys, this is like real life at home. What happens? Football playing, baby screaming, mama cooking. It is what it is. All right, you guys, here is my finished product for our breakfast this morning. Again, these are pumpkin spice cheesecake 
cheesecake pumpkin spice pancakes. Um, this plate is for my man, so there's no syrup on him. He likes just butter. And we have some watermelon, sausage, hash browns, and some eggs. Great Sunday football breakfast. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, tell your friends about it. Let me know what you guys want to see. Again, I'm not a chef. I'm just a mom cooking for a bunch of men. Here's what the baby's eating. He doesn't really love eggs yet. So we have some sausage, hash brown, watermelon, and of course, football time. So he has his Steelers shirt on. Is that good? You guys, these are spicy sausages too. We love the hot links. And he really likes these. <laughs> huh? Is that yummy?